people get mixed up? Where do people mess up? In the algebra too, partially because they're not doing what we're doing in class, and they think, oh, oh it's easy. You just find the formula, you plug it in, and then I'll get the answer. But we make mistakes on the algebra, the class that you guys are already passed to getting here, right? This stuff, it gets tricky. You got to be careful. You got to follow along, and you got to practice. So again, if we're looking for the tangent formula, now there's two of them. So which one do you choose, right? In my opinion, I always like to use this one first. And if this is a little bit more difficult, then I revert to the other one. But I usually like to prefer to have a mon uh, one term in the denominator rather than two. All right, so again, notice though, guys, we're using theta, not theta over two. Theta over two is 22.5 degrees, right? So this could technically be written like this. And we're trying to find theta. Well, if theta over 2 is 22.5 degrees, that means theta is 45 degrees. The easiest way for you to show me that you don't know what you're doing is to plug in a 22.5 degrees in for theta into the formula. It's the easiest way for me to know that you're not following along. Okay, You're doing the double, right? You've got to double it. This is theta over 2. That's theta. So now we just have. Um, simplify. Fortunately, we like this. Square root of 2 over 2. All over square root of 2 over 2. Oops, sorry. So again, um, we have a, in this case, we, you can see we have a complex fraction. Now, there's a couple different ways we could do this. We could just get rid of the denominators. But I'm going to try to get rid of, um, I'm going to kind of do this a different way. Actually, let's just get rid of the denominators first. Let's do this one at a time. So to get rid of my 2, I'm going to multiply by 2 on the top and bottom. And again, what is the big mistake people do? They forget distributive property. This 2 is being multiplied times both terms. So when we multiply this, we get 2 minus square root of 2 over square root of 2. And then if my problem, uh, I need to get rid of the radical, I can just rationalize the denominator. And again, please make sure you guys are distributing. Okay. And again, we can distribute that 2 into both of these terms to give me a final answer of square root of 2 minus 1. And that is what your multiple choice question would look like. Okay? So again, guys, I'm not teaching you anything.